going to be a video on mitosis and hopefully it will help you remember all the stages and the names and stuff. Um, I have a little story to go with it, but just to warn you, it is actually the lamest story ever. I'm not even exaggerating, but it really did help me remember all the different parts of mitosis. And I told my friend Harry in biology and we kind of developed the story together and he said it really helped him too, so I thought it might help you guys as well. So yeah, get comfy. Get ready to absorb some information. Get some brain food. Whoa. This was like full an hour ago. <laughs> but yeah, enjoy. So this is Anna and this is you. And here you are winning her heart because you get the ladies. Like a pro. <laughs> Just like Superman. So, in the same way that you're a pro like Superman, the chromatin supercoils during pro phase. Yep, yeah, see what I did there? Also, as you can see, the centriole has split into two and gone to the opposite poles of the cell and they've made the spindle fibres which are made up of protein threads. Now, unfortunately, you and Anna live quite far away from each other, so one day you got on the train and you met her in the middle of the dance hall at a disco. And coincidentally, the chromosomes also meet each other in the middle of the cell during metaphase. Because, you know, you met her, and yeah. So the chromosomes are lined up down the equator of the cell, and the spindle fibres attach to the centromere of the chromosomes, which is this middle part that holds the two sister chromatids together. After your happy day together, it's time to say goodbye to Anna. Sad times. But it's okay, you're not alone, as the sister chromatids also say goodbye to each other during anaphase. The centromere splits and the spindle fibres shorten, pulling the chromatids away from each other to the opposite poles. So now you've got the train back home and you and Anna are in your separate cities. So if you want to talk to her now, you'll have to telephone her. Meanwhile, a new nuclear envelope is forming around the two sets of chromosomes and the spindle breaks down into spit. So now that they're in their separate nuclei, they'll have to telephone each other too. So this stage is called telephase. Once in their nuclei, the chromosomes uncoil and they're no longer visible under a light microscope. So that's the story of mitosis. So just to recap, you have prophase where the chromatin supercoils into chromosomes, like a pro. And then you have metaphase, where you met her in the middle of the disco, so the chromosomes meet in the middle of the cell. And then you have anaphase, where you say goodbye to Anna, and the chromatids also say goodbye to each other and split up to the opposite sides of the cell. And then you have telophase, where the chromosomes are in their separate nuclei, so they'll have to telephone each other <laughs> to contact each other. And yeah, that's mitosis. But remember, before mitosis you have interphase, which is where the DNA replicates. That's a whole other video. Um, I guess that can be like where you and Anna are introduced to each other. Like, introduced, interphase. <laughs> and then after mitosis, after telophase, you have cytokinesis, which is where you have your chromosomes in the separate nuclei and then the actual cell splits so you have two identical cells. Um, I guess that can be like you and Anna breaking up and like splitting up and then um, because you can't stand the sight of each other anymore. You know, cytokinesis, can't stand the sight of each other. Splitting up, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm on a roll. But yeah, um, I hope that helped you remember. Um, yeah, thank you for watching.